Well, the price of college continues to rise year after year, faster than any other commonly used commodity in American life, and far faster than the official inflation rate. Even at public universities, tuition is now routinely above 10 grand a year. Don't even consider the most expensive private schools. It'll make you sick. It'll also put you in debt. Well, thankfully, some innovative minds see the situation and ask the obvious question, which is, what's the point of all this? Isaac Morehouse is the founder of Praxis. It's an organization that places young people in apprenticeships with tech startups without requiring them to attend college first. It's a really interesting idea, and Isaac Morehouse joins us now. Isaac, thanks for coming on. Hey, thanks so much for having me, Tucker. Glad to be here. So why'd you do this? What was the, the need you wanted to meet with Praxis? You know, I had spent a lot of time working with young people, high school students, college students, and seeing them graduate and say, I've got all this debt but I can't find, there are no jobs. And then I started working with, I, I switched jobs, this is before I launched practice, I started working with a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners. And I'm hearing them say, I'm hiring all the time. I just can't find good talent. And I thought, okay, something is amiss here. People are spending all this time, five years on average, thousands of dollars, sometimes six figures, and they're coming out no better prepared to go in and create value and to get a job than they were when they went in. Exactly. In fact, I would argue sometimes they come out uh, worse because they pick up some habits and mindsets that, is that totally are really antithetical. You just stopped right there. That is totally true, and nobody ever says it. College helps a lot of people, also destroys some people. That's real. Absolutely. I mean, we see that all the time. Actually, at Praxis, when people get into the program, if they've had some college especially, we joke about we have sort of a de-schooling process because the mindset of obey the rules, you know, follow procedures, chase credentials, chase grades, and wait to be told what to do, and you'll be handed this magical ticket to a job, it's just not true. I mean, if you stand in line with your resume and says, look, I, I have a degree, hand me a job, whether or not you have a degree, you need more than that today. But the good news is it's easier than ever to do more than that, to demonstrate your ability to create value, to, to embark on projects and things that you, know, you can show, not just trust this degree, but here's what I've done, here's what I've built. And that's really what we're all about, is trying to place people in a position where they can learn by doing. So you're, in, a, in effect, a placement firm for people who are bypassing college and want to go right into the workplace. Is that right? It, it's, a, it's a little bit more than that. Actually, it's a lot more than that. But that is definitely a key part of it. So the program, we have a three-month boot camp where if you've got the raw drive, if you've got the work ethic, I call it the sleep in your car test. There are people who are willing to sleep in their car to get what they want in life and those who aren't. If you've got that, the skills can be gained. You can learn those relatively right. quickly if you have that drive. So we, we help prepare our participants with this professional boot camp. We help them build a personal website. We help them gain some specific skills that are going to be valuable for some of our business partners. And then we place them in a paid apprenticeship. They're getting regular coaching. There's a, there's a curriculum along with Praxis and a whole community. And it's really about a mindset that no one's going to give me anything. No one's going to give me a job. Right. No one's going to give me job security. I've got to create that for myself. Whether or not I actually start a business, I have to think entrepreneurially. And I'm telling you, there is more opportunity than ever out there today. But unfortunately, a lot of people don't see it. They just see fear and they're, they're, they're worried and they're looking for some guarantee. So they're sinking themselves into debt and they don't have to. So Quickly, we're, by the way, we're, we're putting uh, the explanation of your company and your website on our Facebook page so for our viewers who want to know more. But if I've got kids awesome. and they're thinking about whether or not to go to college, I could call you up with some assurance that that child will wind up in a decent job? Absolutely. I mean, if you get into the program, and again, what we look for is that drive and that, yes. that ambition, you know, the work ethic. If you get in... We play, once we place you in an apprenticeship, you're guaranteed to get a job uh, at the end of the program. So absolutely, I mean, and that's why we have to screen for quality people, but also we're there to coach and help. Our advisors work with participants throughout their yeah. apprenticeship and beforehand to guarantee that they will succeed in those roles. And, and the businesses we work with, they love us. I mean, they I come back they and they say, do. give us more of these people. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm just glad that out of a country of 330 million people, someone is thinking for himself in an original way. Good well, for it, you. It, I mean, it almost seems so obvious in some ways, this apprenticeship concept of, of learning by working with people who are doing, but yet we've got this weird, bizarre mentality where people are paying tons of money to be kept out of the real world 
And then exactly. all of a sudden they graduate and being taught by people, most of whom have never really worked in the business world, uh, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of backwards. So, and I mean, the, the idea of America itself is, you know, it's, it's a, we're a country of hustlers, grinders, innovators, you know, crazy people who aren't willing to take well enough alone. And that mindset kind of gets beat out of you in the school process. So we're trying to just tell people, hey, get out of the classroom and we'll put you into a, into a business and you can learn to get your feet okay. wet. Learn to get gonna forged to, in the fire. I'm going to have to stop this interview because I'm going to start sucking up to you in an embarrassing way because I love this idea just so uh, much. Well, I'm a talker too. I chat a lot. <laughs> no, so. I love it. I love every part of it. Isaac, <laughs> thank you for that. I appreciate it. Absolutely.